Good morning on this cold and rainy Friday. Is it Friday? We are at our local Goodwill, our favorite Goodwill right there. And we're gonna hurry up and go inside because it is raining outside. We're gonna see if we can find stuff to flip online. Look at this thing. Man, this is USA all over it, right? Red, white, and blue. We're asking $19.99. Who's Michael Hoban? I don't know. It's got a USA pool on it. It's got a USA on the inside. That thing is sweet, isn't it? It's got like little discoloration there. The leather's not bad. And that's like a patched... Uh... Alright, I know they're asking 20 bucks for this, but really, some of his stuff is super expensive. And this one is a different style than the one that usually sells for only 40 I think, honestly, I think this one can go for over 100 but we'll go ahead and try this out for 20 bucks. That ain't bad. All right, not bad in that Goodwill. I know we only got one thing, but for 20 bucks, I really think that this thing right here is gonna go for probably 60, all the way up to maybe 70. It's in not, not the best condition, but I think with some good leather cleaner, I'll be able to clean this thing up. And uh, because this one doesn't seem like to be the most common, but the name is Michael Huben. And he has an eight ball jacket out there that goes for like four to 500 bucks. So be on the lookout for that. Never heard him before. So a nice little bolo. Shoo. Second Goodwill. Not bad in the first Goodwill. Hope, hopefully there's better stuff in this one. All right, so many people would pass these things up just because you just don't know what they are. But these are quesadilla makers from George Foreman. And this one's a little bit different down there. There's not a price on them, so we'll see how much they are. They go for $25 a piece, so it's like a hundred bucks right there. And how I knew what it was is there's a little model number right there. And anytime I see replacement pieces for grills, I always look them up. This one is definitely a winner. Pretty decent pans. Decent. All right, so Kayla found some Uggs here. Look at that. These ain't too bad. They're not really that beat either. They look pretty good. Look at that hidden golf club right there in the non-golf club area. Hmm, suspicious Goodwill. Suspicious, not a good one though, so not too terribly suspicious, right? Oh, what is that? We all know the golf bags sell pretty good. The hammer, that's actually a Brunswick, isn't it? Wait a second, this might be good. I'm really starting to gain my knowledge on golf bags. Because they actually sell like pretty decently. Because they're like a hundred dollars new. Got me a oh the hammers. They must have been hammering too hard on this one. Dang on bent. Who's in here? Bowler's idle. What? I found a surprise. Who's in this? It's a knife and band aids. What does it say? Stainless steel? What about a Swiss Army knife? It'd be worth the buy right there. That's cute. Two dollars for this thing. Woo! Ten bucks. A little, oh, a little expensive. All that work to realize it was for ten dollars. What is that? These are leather chaps. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, found this. The old country, and I wouldn't be getting this, but it is actually states right there, made exclusively for the golf shop at St. Andrews. These things are super expensive. I've seen them upwards of like fifty bucks because usually they're not actually from the St. Andrews shop and that is a golf course. And then we found these hiding on a chair. And I was just making sure it was nobody's, nobody claimed them, you know? So uh, these are actually pretty good. $7 here should go about 30, 35 bucks. I'm chasing down a new cart for uh, clothing. Woolridge. What is this one?
That's a big jacket. This is weird. I don't, I mean, that's orange tag. That's old. We found the weirdest thing right now. <laughs> Pants with 1990s baseball cards attached to them. That doesn't even make any sense. Nah, I don't, I don't get it. What do you, what are you thinking? I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. Is there any more? No. Oh, three. Oh, we got three of them. These are old. This one's an orange tag, so these are going to be a pickup anyway because they usually go 30, 40 bucks. But that's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, what is that shirt? That thing's nice. This? Humpback Whales. United since 59. It's like a, uh, the jeans though. Interesting, right? It's weird. Hey, more of them over there. Yeah, I grabbed a Woolrich off of uh, the other one. I'll look up real quick. Have you keep looking there, but that ain't too bad. These, these are neat. I don't understand it. Right? I mean, are these Alan Anderson's pants? Is the real question. Did they wear these in spring training? You know, Alan looks like he would be a 34-30, right? Look, Alan's got a small waist on him. I don't know. They're all old made in the United States, so good stuff. That ain't bad. Hey, look at this. United States Navy. It's got the reflective on it, and it's from the United States. Made in the United States. You don't see that a lot. That's also going to be a pickup. Size medium. Oh, yeah, and the Navy on the back. Uh, it's got some stains, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal when it comes to that. Excellent find there. Man, what a, these things are. My arms are your arms are hurting. We just found this, and it is a men's navy 2XL, so that's good right there, right? And we were looking on eBay, and um, the main thing on this is that the fur was real, and it is. This says duck down on the inside filling, so that's good. And then also the coyote fur on the trim, and that's where it comes in. This one is easy. Now it's missing two buttons, but there's an extra button right there. And easy, like as high as $3.99 on this bad boy. So this is a really, really good score here. Super excited. My hand's shaking a little bit because I actually grabbed this first thing, and it's just really, really good find. All right, one of the best Goodwill finds we've had in a very, very long time, probably over a year, because usually you don't find things over $150 in the Goodwill. At least we don't, but that jacket right there, we'll talk about it. Let's go ahead and go through this. We're on the GoPro right now. It's not the other camera because it's cold and rainy out here, and I don't want the other camera to get wet, but let's go ahead and go over this stuff. Uh, right here, this is the Old Country St. Andrews, and everything here costs only 66 bucks. We got some good-looking Uggs right here. Taylor bought this gym golf gym thing i didn't even look at it i don't even know what this is let's look at it together um looks like a trainer for golf which all trainers usually for golf are pretty good so we'll go ahead and um throw up a soul comp for that these right here are for the george foreman grill and they go for 25 dollars a piece she only charged me 2.99 there wasn't a sticker a lot of times that they don't even do that uh but there was one back there with a sticker and she remembered from yesterday so luckily 2.99 a piece there just had to make sure that the handles were not broken caleb bought this for the house right here we have a theme in the house that's kind of like uh lighthouse so that's not bad the shoes back here the nike found these hiding in on a chair nowhere near the uh the shoes and i made sure that you know somebody wasn't in the bathroom they just stashed them but nope they are 100 percent just being hidden and uh, i did find those this right here is the winner winner of the entire thing is the john rich ambros with the coyote real fur and with the down everything like checks the boxes so when i look for expensive jackets woolrich is a really good name down on the inside really good real fur really good we're looking at probably 250 to 400 dollars on that jacket so that is super good kayla found the vintage um levi's here which was pretty nice they have baseball cards attached to them which is i think really odd but tell me down in the comments what in the world do you think that's about but some of these are really good this one right here is the 505 and i think it is the orange tag orange tags usually go for a little bit more than red tags big e's go for the most and the big e when i say that is just that this part right here the little case lowercase e right there is capitalized so that usually goes for a decent amount of money this one is the 517 i've never actually seen 517s before but they look like they go for 40 dollars then we got the u.s made united states navy 
maybe pull over $25 on that. So that right there is one of the best hauls we've had clothing wise and probably one of the biggest finds we've ever had in a Goodwill today. I do appreciate it by the watch. You know, I will always get you on the next one.